25th annual Oceanside Independence Day Parade. Yeah! It's exciting. This is our first pre-show. We're so excited. Yeah, okay. Well, we have you see all of this wonderful action. And with us right now, we have the Oceanside Theater Company, John McCoy. Hello, I'm president of the Oceanside Theater Company and our youth camp. We're so excited. This is our seventh year participating in this parade. And it's we've got a great show going on for you folks at the end of our camp. It is Honk Jr. Honk Jr. Are they uh, and what's Honk Jr. about? It is basically a story about the ugly duckling and his journey to find who he is. I asked them if it was red, white, and blue, and they said, no, the duck is brown, but that's okay. What else can you tell us about Hong Jr.? Hong Jr., well, um, it, well, it, is a, it is a musical. We get to sing and dance, and, I, and I'm, very, um, I'm very happy with the choice of the directors and, like, the musical directors and the, um, uh, what is it? choreographer so I just wanted to say thank you for them and so you're at the Independence Day Parade Heather what will you all be doing as you're going down this wonderful street well we have about 40 cast members that are also included with some theater design students and we're all going to be walking and singing the songs from the show and trying to encourage people to come see our production which runs in two weeks from now the 12th through the 14th Awesome, awesome. That is a lot of energy. That is a lot of energy. But you know what? We are so delighted to have you here. And this again is our pre-show right here at the 25th Annual Oceanside Day Parade. Welcome again to our pre-show for the Oceanside Independence Day Parade. We have Baton Twirling USA here with, with Dina David. How are you? Fine, thank you. Every year we capture this wonderful woman and this golf cart with our, can you, can you see these wonderful representation of patriotic history? You see that? Yeah. And one of the things is you were saying that year after year they do a little bit that we never capture. And on the back of the float it was, what was it, Betsy Ross and George Washington. They didn't get captured before, yes? And the today's military. And today's military. So we're going to be sure to do that today. So who do we have with us? We have... George Washington. <laughs> a Native American. <laughs> what, what tribe are you representing? Choctaw tribe. Betsy Ross. Military. And who are you representing? What organization? The USA. Yes, and the it's United the States. The United States Marine Corps, right here. So tell us, there's some interesting hit history here, and I think it's just fabulous. Okay. Could you please share? Stand up against each other, and I'll say something I think uh, George Washington would be, would have been just as proud of today's military as he was of the troops of yesterday. Thank you, but there I have to get this in because this is very important. We have, could you give me some history of this young woman's family? This is very important. This is patriotic stuff here. Hayden Scott, her father is a veteran. Uh, was it Desert Storm? and her grandfather was a veteran and her great grandfather worked with the Navajo and right down here yeah the Navajo code talkers of World War II so it's very important as we're going through this parade that we remember who we're celebrating what this is all about we have wonderful history right here in Oceanside this is the pre-show the 25th annual Oceanside Day parade <laughs> Oceanside, Oceanside Independence Day Parade pre-show. Yes, happy birthday. And we have a couple of real veterans here, real veterans. We have... Nick Norris. From? From Oceanside, actually Vista, and you name it. Okay. Once a Marine, always a Marine. That's correct. Okay. And we have... Well, the mayor, Cynthia's Artistic Expressions. 
Uh, we're here in uh, Oceanside as well, on Mission Avenue down by uh, Nevada, 713. And you did this wonderful uh, mural here of the Tuskegee Airmen. In honor of the Tuskegee Airmen, uh, we reported that the, uh, the last Tuskegee Airmen actually passed away this week. Oh. And to uh, honor them and recognize them in our Happy Birthday America Parade, I wanted to uh, do this and uh, show it and let people see and uh, not forget them, guys. And uh, WB will be honored on the OCAP float, who is uh, also present. That's the Oceanside uh, Cultural Arts Foundation. And we are, again, excited to be here. Thank you all very much. Thank and that's you. Cynthia Sheila down there. They don't want to get her holding Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs>